this evening, uh, there was a reference made uh, to some of the things which I have done, actually speaking, it, it's, it's all the team that we had and we continue to have uh, in the Air Force and of course in the Armed Forces as well. And uh, I can't think of, uh, of an occasion where uh, we've been honored like this before, at least in my 42, 43 years of service. I can only think of one occasion where we were honored uh, along with many others for the Uttarakhand uh, rescue operations that we had done because that is a common uh, in public uh, knowledge and public domain and that time I think it was Dr. Manmohan Singh, the Prime Minister who graced the occasion. And uh, what I do recall uh, uh, during that particular incident uh, it was not just the, uh, the rescuing of uh, so many thousands of civilians. In a, it was a very bad time of the monsoon uh, in the month of June, uh, end of June, 17 June onwards, where we had this tragic uh, landslides uh, and along with the Army and the NDRF people. Uh, and we were, of course, responsible from the Air Force side. And uh, let me also tell you that this was the largest heli lift operations anywhere in the world, where we lifted almost close to 23, 24,000 civilians. But I don't uh, associate myself with that, particular, uh, with that particular event so much as what happened on 25th of June, uh, when one of our helicopters, it was a Mi-17, uh, one of the new helicopters, uh, V-5 helicopters, uh, which crashed. Uh, this was uh, five of our men who were on board, who were the crew, and uh, along with 12 others. So there were 17 people on board that helicopter whom we lost. And, uh, and Dr. Manmohan Singh rang me up that evening. This was around 4.30 in the evening. And he, uh, and he was, in fact, uh, he expressed his uh, sincere condolences. And he asked me as to what were our plans future plans and I said we will continue. Uh, there is no question of stopping but we will continue, continue and complete the operation. Uh, and, I, and I think uh, at that uh, it appeared to be a very dark moment uh, especially on that particular day. The next very morning I was there in that place in a very hilly region and the entire media fraternity was there and I remember Barkha Dutt, who, who as you all know from NDTV, she asked me, uh, she asked me, Chief, uh, do you think your boys had stretched the envelope and therefore this resulted in this accident? And I told Barkha that, look, when you're doing rescue operations, unless you stretch the envelope, you do not rescue anybody. And, uh, and that is why our, our boys felt it was their duty to go beyond the limit at least, because if they had not done so, uh, those many people would actually would not have survived, the civilians. And uh, why I'm mentioning this incident is because uh, when we joined the armed forces, and I feel it a little strange coming from, from myself, I would rather hear it from many of you or from many civilians as to what we do for a living. Uh, but just as a gentle reminder, uh, the armed forces not only defend our freedom, they preserve our freedom. Ours is a very voluntary force. It is not a drafted force. Nobody is forced to join. And they do so with so much of uh, dedication and a sense of duty, uh, once having joined, and they continue to serve. And, uh, and I really salute the families of our martyrs, not only them, but so many others who have lost their near and dear ones, their families, and, they, and it's left uh, to, the, to their generations to pick up the threads and start the life again.